Okay, hello. My name is Adrian. Welcome to the channel English with Adrian, helping you expand your vocabulary, speak like a native Englishman, and increase your confidence. Let's look at dependent prepositions in English. So look, some words are followed by specific prepositions called dependent prepositions. Mm hmm. Whether they are adjectives, verbs, or nouns. So some words have specific prepositions. Specific, can't be any, but a specific one. And that preposition is called dependent, because it depends on the rest of the sentence. It depends on it. it. Has to follow it. Adjectives with dependent prepositions. It was good to, it was good of her to tell me her secret. Adjective, preposition. It was good of her to tell me her secret. It was good of her to tell me her secret. Adjectives, good, preposition, of. Good of her to, to tell me. Ah, okay. So sometimes there's a choice. There's a choice. They seem surprised at her secret. <gasps> they seem surprised by her secret. <gasps> the surprise, or the secret, caused the feeling. The secret caused the feeling of surprise. By or at. <gasps> the owner was angry about the new prices. Angry about. Angry of. Angry by. Angry of. Angry with. Angry about. Her sister was annoyed with the mess. This mess. I'm annoyed with it. My friend was impressed by the options. The different choices we had. Like, wow. 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 I'm impressed by the choices. I was getting ready. Ready for the concert just now. I was just um, recording another video for my channel. He is not excited about going to the island. He's not excited for going to the island. Mm. It's not exciting. He was excited about the party. She was excited for the celebration. I am excited for the news. Ah. We have these adjectives, excited, ready, impressed, annoyed, angry, surprised, and a preposition. Impressed by, ready for, excited about. <gasps> mm, yes. Okay. So, then we have verbs with dependent prepositions, as some verbs are followed by certain prepositions. Huh. He used to shout out the answers. Shout out. Really, like phrasal verbs. Shout out. Speak for. I speak for the trees, said the Lorax. She used to shout at the radio. Shout at the radio. At the radio. The library was counting on the new books. Oh, we need those new books. We need them. Oh. The owner spoke to the landlord. Spoke to the landlord. Mm. Yeah. What do you think about travelling to Spain? Think about. What do you think about travelling to Mexico? Oh. What do you think about travelling to Gibraltar? Oh. What do you think about travelling to Morocco? Oh. The bank advertised... For another mortgage advisor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I spoke to him about the questions and answers. I shout out the, an the answers so he can hear me. I think a lot about, think a lot about travelling. Very important, yeah. Well, that's uh, separate, um, inseparable and separable. So it's a little different there, separable. But then look, verbs. Ooh. 
verbs to and from as some verbs can use either one depending on the context we can use either two or four uh, yeah four two usually used to transfer something and four is used for someone benefits from something he sold the business to the landlord to the landlord I sold a product to you I recorded a video for you he sold the business for the investor who benefits from an action or something I record a video for you I was talking to her that's who I'm doing it with transfer he sold the shares to the investor aha uh -huh. he sold the home or the house for the landlord I did it on the landlord's behalf the landlord wants me to do something I did it for him I did it to the investor I spoke to the captain I spoke to him I spoke to the captain and he wants me to do this for you give you a drink he wants me to do this for him I spoke to the captain and he wants me to get a drink for him yeah so an action with verb with two or four two when talk about uh, the ben um, talk about a transfer of something I'm talking to you I'm talking to them I'm going to buy from them I'm going to buy to uh, well I'm going to buy into them okay he sold business for doing it for someone I spoke for you on your behalf to the judge I sold the company to the landlord I spoke I spoke to the judge and here's what he said I I'm going to speak on your behalf for the judge yeah for the case yeah but sometimes nouns and dependent uh, prepositions so I always keep a photographer of my first successes in a frame okay nouns a photograph of there it is photograph of something ah. so some words like advantage can have in or to depending on the context there are advantages to investing in real estate ah there are advantages in investing in equity hmm. it is important to have to be positive towards learning English I have been searching for a solution to solution to the shortage of food these nouns in or to oh here you are. first success in a frame uh -huh. the demand for apples is rising the cause of the protests was because of bad laws cause of the protests ah. why have you steadily increased in size increased in increased in size over the years why has it grown she did that as a response to rising taxes something happened a response to ah so we have these in or to sometimes of sometimes uh, yeah of yeah or be mainly to for nouns something happening yeah. hmm. but words let's move that a little bit uh, yeah words with different dependent prepositions no matter which one you use the meaning of the phrase depends on which words it's paired with so the meaning changes depending on the combination of the words wow. I'm excited for I'm excited for the party I'm excited for my holiday yeah. I'm excited about the holiday a vacation I'm excited about traveling I'm excited about growing the YouTube channel yes she talked to the boss she talked to the viewers 
She talked to the community. She talked about the videos to the community. She talked about the videos with the community. She talked about the the, the uh, balance sheet with the investors. She talked about the overall market with the investors. She talked about the bookmark with me. She talked about something, but she talked to someone. I'm excited for something, excited about something. You have a good relationship with, you tell me. With something or someone. The relationship between brother and sister is always exciting. You have a good relationship with your wife. I have a good relationship with my girlfriend. I'm upset about how long it is. I'm upset with myself for not traveling more. I'm upset about how tiring this job is. I'm upset with you because you didn't tell me. You didn't tell me. I'm appealing for more information. I'm appealing to the teachers. I'm appealing for more information, for help, please, for anyone, from you or you or you, help. I'm appealing to all the teachers, not them, not them, but the teachers, to not issue so much homework, not give so much homework. Oh, don't need it. No, thanks. This, this is a serious problem for the investors. The investors have the problem. It's a serious problem for the investors um, it's a serious problem too doesn't really make sense but it's for the investors it's for them this is a serious problem for people in England you have a serious problem with the interest rates in Europe oh. you have a serious problem with the sandstorm in Morocco oh, the sand is everywhere not what you want I have a serious issue with um, with light. I guess it's a bit dark in here. A serious issue with the light. It's too dark. Yeah. Now so that's how we can use different prepositions with dependent or dependent prepositions for about to with between. Yeah. So that's in and to, depending on the context and the sentence. Advantages to, advantages in, searching for solution. Yeah. But this one's interesting. To and for. So for is doing something for them as, as a like a benefit, and to is towards them. Like I'm talking to you, I'm doing it with you, but I'm I'm talking to you for them, for their benefit. But I'm going to talk to you for their benefit. I'm going to record a video and teach teach you English for for myself for my own business yeah very good yeah Exc exciting stuff exciting stuff but then sometimes angry at or by most mean the same thing angry with angry about impressed by the options oh impressive yeah cool now, if you want to keep learning English, expanding your vocabulary, and speaking like a native Englishman, then hit the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest videos and uploads. Until then, bye for now.